They say there's always more than one way to skin a cat. Well, um, I happen to have two, and they are, um, they're really starting to bug me. So, um, does anyone, you know, need a pair of mittens? Hey, crew. Today I'm going to do a how-to, and it's a how to make a Sabo round out of, um, a toilet paper tube. Now, a lot of fields won't let you use sabos because if you shoot someone in the face, uh, it can hurt them, it can knock their mask off. You really, it's not an anti-personnel device unless you're firing it pretty high, in which case it's more like a mortar. It's a mortar round, but then why would you bother making this when you can just, you know, loft shells out? I use it at some fields as an anti-tank um, device because you can deliver basically a shotgun blast to a kill box. Um, but again, you have to obviously show it to a game producer um, in the field and the referees. Get it approved. Don't just go out there slinging shotgun Sabo paintball rounds around. Cause that's just that's stupid. Someone's going to get hurt. You're going to get in trouble. And then they're going to come yell at me because I showed you how. Uh, and I don't want to get yelled at. So, yes, you can make it. Some fields let you use it. But check first. Please. Please. All right. Now, the how-to video. You're going to need... Obviously a paper towel tube, a pair of scissors, some paper towel, and duct tape. Rip off a piece of duct tape. <laughs> if you all noticed, uh, YouTube started canceling accounts because of music, so I'm just going to hum along and make my own merry tune. So. Take the cardboard and you want to reinforce one end of it with a roll of duct tape. Boom, like so, reinforced. You're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut this into fans um, in thirds or fourths. I like thirds, it's easier to fill it that way, less rambunctious. Fourths, um, it opens easier. So. Have it your way. I'm just going to simulate cutting and then I'll show you the finished product when I get done. Alright, now you've cut it, you want to bend it. You basically want to break the strength of the cardboard so that when you fire it out of your launcher, it fans open and the paintballs spread out of it. So, once you break them enough, they should easily open. Uh, there's the camera. You should just flip open. The closer they are to breaking off, the better. You're probably not going to get more than one shot out of these, so it's not like you want to design them to last a long time. They're just cardboard. I mean, come on. Now. You're going to take one of your paper towels and you're going to rip it so it's a little box. Whoop. And you're going to fold that box like. So, all right, you should have all four corners here, little fan thing. Take a piece of duct tape, tape the corners down in the center, like that. This is going to be sort of your feathering on the back. It'll slow down the sable round and allow the paintballs to come out. So, put it on the back, like so. Push down two corners. Take a piece of duct tape and go around like so. After you pass the second corner, tuck down the third corner and then you'll pass the first corner again. Come back to the third corner and voila. So, so far we have our Sabo which has been cut and loosened. And then we have a cap on the end made of paper towel. So all you have left to do is make a cap for the top end. So take your other half, fold it, but don't fold it all the way to the center. Just fold the corners over. You're not going to need to tape these. Just crease them. Now fit this over the end you've already Taped. Take a long piece of duct tape, 
Basically what you're doing is you're shaping a cap for the opposite end using the back side of the Sabo. So put it on here like so, <coughs> fold it down and over, then take your long piece of duct tape and go around. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Alright, then your cap, you should just be able to pull it off, like so. Now when you put it on here, you want to put it over one. Oh, how do I present this? Now you would fill it with paint, and then you put the other two on top of it. So you can see you have one side, two sides, the third side's inside. And once you fill it with paint, it will shape a lot easier. This way when you shoot it out, these two fans open. The top flaps off like that, and the paintballs keep going forward. But you definitely don't want to get shot with a slug that's got like 25 paintballs in it. So I've been shooting these for a while, and take my word for it, if you do it this way, they, they will open up. Again, you're doing this at your own risk, and this is just how I make them. By making this, you assume all responsibility for it, and it's not my fault if you're a dumbass and shoot someone with it. Some fields allow them. If you don't check them out, it's on you. So, there you go. That's a Sabo round. I know it doesn't look like much. It doesn't have to look like much. You just fill it with paint, load it in your tube, boom. Works really well with breech loading and with um, two-inch PVC pipe laws or whatever the diameter, whatever the material is, as long as it's two inches, this should slide right in. Um, and again, I use it primarily as a kill box shooter. If I run out of laws, basically, if I run out of nerf rockets, load one of these in, shoot a couple at the kill box on the tank, and you'll fill it up pretty quick, because this holds maybe 25, 30 paintballs, and at about 20 feet, 25 feet, you only have about this much spread, so if you're shooting at a tank at about 50 feet, you're going to have about that much spread, which is enough to fill up a kill box pretty quickly. So, that's a Sable round. Have a good day. Again, if you guys have Sable rounds or questions, comments, or a better way to do it, um, feel free to make a video and post that up. That's what this is all about. <laughs> Well, it's wonderful to have an electrician in the house to keep us up on the latest scientific advances. Let's see how your little gadgets work. I'm just kidding. I, I would never skin my cats on YouTube. Uh, PETA would be all over me for that. No, I would, uh, I would never. I would.